Michael Jackson and Prince did not get along, which I did not know that. But you took Michael to see Prince or you took Prince to see Michael? Which was it? So one time, Black Eyed Peas had a show in Vegas and we got to Vegas and they get a phone call from Michael and he says, it's Michael and I heard you guys are performing tonight. I was like, yeah, we go on at, at uh, 9 p.m. He was like, oh, rats, I gotta put the kids to sleep. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, later on I'm performing with Prince. I'm probably gonna do this little number with Prince at the Rio. And he said, uh, oh, I'm, I'd love to do that, but I don't know if I, if I can do that. I was like, why? He's like, oh, I don't know. Prince and I always have been at odds with each other. I was like, oh, no, let me call him on the phone, and I'll call you right back. I think everything will be great. So hang up the phone, call this lady named Ruth, who then would put me uh, in contact with Prince. I said, hey, Michael Jackson wants to come to the show. Can you put him in a VIP section where no one knows he's there? So. Prince said, oh yeah, we could, we could arrange that. So <laughs> I got off the phone, called Michael Jackson and said, it's set, everything's gonna be great. What, we walk him to the VIP room, I get off the stage, go sit down with me, Prince, and his manager, and Chris Tucker. So then Prince is playing the bass, boom, da -bow, bow, -da -da -bow, boom, da -bow, bow, walks off the stage, boom, da -bow, bow, da -da -da -bow, boom, da -bow, bow, walks to our area, our section where Michael Jackson's at. Now say for example, you're Michael Jackson, I'm Prince. And, and goes off to the stage, right? So Michael Jackson's like, what's up with Prince paying the bass in my face? <laughs> That could have been a song. That was a good song. 